Hey guys, fun is uh, blinding me. We just got done filming the last video. If you guys didn't watch it, the big koi passed away. It was really unfortunate, but I was at Petco yesterday and they had three red tail catfish. Then I got a call saying two of them died and they also got tiger shovel nose. Petco. So uh, we're, we're gonna take, we're gonna buy one of them because they say they're probably gonna end up dying. And I think I might be able to keep this baby one alive. No hate on Petco or anything, but there's a red tail right there. And an arowana. The problem with that is Petco, they normally don't carry fish like this, like extreme exotic fish to this extent, especially because they get so big, that red tail gets 10 times bigger than that tank. And they already had two of them die. They also got a few tiger shovel nose in and those died also. So they're not having a very good, they're not doing the best job at keeping them alive. So I got a call saying I should come get this last red tail before it dies because they've been dying. So that's what I'm gonna do today. They also had two arowanas die already, also. So we're gonna try and save this dude and uh, keep him alive because he's just a baby. Like look at that pictus catfish. He's a, he's a goner. Wow. Dude, Petco even has discus. Like that, that's not something Petco, I wouldn't say shouldn't carry, but I wouldn't say they should either. Discus are so hard to keep alive and this one looks infected and his fin is gone. That's not good. <laughs> hey little fella, you haven't even got the red on your tail yet. And then if I could just get the rest of these uh, feeder fish that you guys have in here? Yeah. Perfect. So you guys may have seen a little bit of a special thing that is going to be in the next video that they were also getting. Yeah, Christian's gonna have a, he's gonna have a pretty cool fish here. Oh my <laughs> god, it's so fast. It's shaking. So, we're back home. First thing we have to do is feed the bass before we put the red tail in there. That involves using these minnows, this net. Um, we got, we fed him 10 the other day. He won't eat all these today, so there's definitely gonna be some left over maybe for the red tail. Here's what we gotta do. Get this bucket the net over bucket like so get these minnows open a hole in the bag because we can't mix this water with this water in here so pour all of them out as easy as that we have all the minnows in the net now uh you guys get ready for this because we're gonna go in slow motion and film uh the bass he knows <laughs> Remember when I said he would probably leave a few left over? Never mind. <laughs> that was the last one. And then the red tail, as you guys know, it does have to be heated in here. Oh, they're best buddies. So I doubt the bass is gonna even mess with them. One, because the red tail has a cave, and two, because the red tail is a decent size and he's gonna grow at like a rapid rate. Also, it's probably, the tank's probably in like the low 70s right now. I set it to 78, I just plugged the heater in, I set it to 78, so by the end of the night, it'll be right around there, so he won't have too long to adjust. The Petco tank was at like 69, 69. Um, it was, it really was. So that's too low for this red tail, so he should be good. Okay, so we're actually going to scoop this bass out because he's finally big enough to go into the pond with all the others. Christian literally just scooped him very easy. Um, he's gonna splash everywhere. Um, there he is, let's get him in the pond. <laughs> let's get the water out. All right. Okay, we got him. All right, little guy. There he goes, into his new home. And uh, he's gonna be with the other bass. So we've decided because this gar, he just sits here and I don't think he's big enough to go in the pond yet. I think he's a little small. You guys know my Florida gar. So we're gonna bring him inside with the red tail and kind of grow both those guys out to go into the tank inside. So we'll have a red tail and a gar. We just have to catch them and I'll turn the waterfall off if we're gonna do that. All right, there's our Florida gar. Woo. Teeth are in the net. Biggest problem about these, biggest problem about these guys. Yeah. That looks sick. Good to go. Now we have to get one more thing out of this, this little tank. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, the thing is fast. Oh, you got him. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Okay, now we got our little bluegill. We're gonna bring him outside. Well, actually, really pretty little fish. Um, we're gonna get him into 
the pond and oh look at that bass is that the bass you got a big bass you got two big bass in here yeah so we did a lot of fish exchanging and moving around this was like to benefit for all the fish like the gar he's really hard to watch over in here because there's so many bigger fish than him and they're eating the food i try and feed him so it's like hard to get him food and get him bigger that's why we're gonna put him in there get him a little bit bigger in there then bring him into here and that's why we took the bass out because we finally got him like he has grown since we put him in there he was like that big now he's like that big way bigger definitely big enough to go into the pond and he can chase live food so we got him good to go and yeah so far everything is good we're just waiting for this red tail to acclimate and then we got to do something crazy this tank right here which i gotta empty out yeah we got something crazy cool going on with this tank over at christian's house <laughs> yeah so this is gonna be sick same concept that we did with the minnows we're about to do with the red tail <sighs> hopefully we can keep this little guy alive i'm i can't promise you we will because he's really tiny and i don't necessarily know if they took the best care of him so hopefully we can keep this little dude alive that's the main reason i bought him also, of course, he's going to go in the pond because he gets huge. If you guys didn't know, these catfish, let me show a big picture on the screen right here. They get massive. So, of course, he goes into the pond. We just got to grow him out. This is a way bigger. This is three times the size of the tank at Petco. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, there he goes. He's in. As easy as that. So, there he is. He is in. He'll probably go into that cave here pretty soon. He's just adjusting to the water temperature, quality, and clarity. All of that stuff. The bubbler is amazing. The plants, he's got a cave. This is a perfect, almost like quarantine tank for him. The reason I say that is because he's going into the pond at one point. Also, we have the mini pond. We still got to do a bunch of stuff with that, gosh, we might do tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. But, we have a bag for the fish there. That we're, uh, it's going to be first. Oh, he's into the cave already. Look how fast he's, he just went into the cave. Yeah, he's, he's He's definitely gonna like it in there a lot more. That's where he'll hang out. He'll get much bigger. So cool though. This gar will hand feed also. Okay, so to finish off this video, we are going to, I don't, a lot of y'all said don't play with the gecko as much. The only time I take him out is when we're like filming a video or something like that. Try and keep him in here as much as possible. All right, we got uh, some water in there for him. I don't know where he is. Oh, oh, got him, Never mind. There he is. A little gecko. That's PJ right there, boys and girls. Coolest little guy in the world. He loves to jump, if you guys didn't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> and uh, if you guys didn't know, he loves he loves the tank. He loves to just jump onto the log right here. Let's see? So he is doing wonderful. He's eating, doing all the good stuff. So PJ is good. Pond is good. The red tail is active, which is perfect. So I'm going to turn this light off. Everything kind of settled down. We've got to get this tank, whatever's in that bag, to Christian's house. Um, so we've got sand in here. We've got some a whole array of stuff to make this perfect so we can put them in right now. Okay, it's filling on up. He's got a house. So it's gonna sink? Yeah. Okay, while well, he decorates his tank the way he wants it, I'm gonna set all of this up. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is, here's our previous, here, let me get this in there. That's in, previous beneficial. Okay, so this is completely full of everything it needs to be a healthy tank. This is even a way bigger filter than what we need, but that's not a problem, because that's just more, you know, filtration and everything. So, so we're gonna pop this on the back and turn it on. So tank is running, look at that. That's pretty cool. The light, of course, it's, it goes over about an inch on each side, but it's not hurting anything. Overall, just the inside of the tank looks sick. Now, now we just need the eel. Now we don't have a net, so Christian's gonna wet his hand, and then we're gonna use his hand and put him in that way. Yeah, all right, let's go dump him in. Here goes Mr. Eel. He's in. Give him eel. You need some green in here. Like a plant in, the, in that back corner behind that, up in the filter. That is that is an eel, guys. I guess I'll just keep these in here. Yeah. But I wanted to say, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you've yet to join the channel, you can click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. Follow my ducks on Instagram at Penelope underscore brownie. Pawn looks amazing. But yeah, if you guys want to cop some Fanatic merchandise, top link in the description. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to click the like button. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Other than that, I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.